afternoon, I'm Wendy Petrie and this is your afternoon news fix for Monday the 27th of May. Auckland Council is warning the government's fast-track approvals bill removes local voices from decision-making. The Environment Committee is working through more than 26,000 submissions on the proposed law. It would let ministers consent to major projects, even those already rejected on environmental grounds. Auckland Councillor Richard Hills told the committee local authorities and council-controlled organisations must be invited to participate. And we believe that will help improve the decision-making, improve the infrastructure, improve the project. I think if the community and councils are on board, you're going to get a much better outcome in the end. The Auditor-General's office has announced it won't investigate Wellington City Council's failed deal with Reading Cinema. The council had proposed purchasing the land for $32 million to encourage development of the complex. Vocal critic Councillor Ray Chung asked for an investigation, but the Auditor-General's office says many of his concerns weren't things it could look into, and now the deal is off, it won't look further. Ten-year-olds can now use e-gates at New Zealand airports as well as travellers from Belgium, Spain and Denmark. It brings our border operations in line with Australia and the UK and Customs plans to extend e-gate users to all EU visitors. Auckland Airport Customs Manager Paul Williams says this will free up offices for other crucial tasks. E-Gates allows customs officers to focus on uh, looking for drug couriers and other people that are carrying prohibited items that aren't allowed in New Zealand. A multi-agency group is being set up to address safety concerns at Dunedin's bus hub. A 16-year-old was fatally stabbed at the Great King Street facility last Thursday and a 13-year-old has appeared in court charged with murder. Blake Benny reports. The city and Otago Regional Councils are joining forces with police. Mayor Jules Raddick says they'll together work to change the culture and improve overall safety and develop short, medium and long-term strategies. They're drafting terms of reference to ensure the entire community can have a say. A reminder to all be prepared for countrywide emergencies. The National Emergency Management Centre successfully tested the emergency mobile alert system last night. More than 5 million phones received the alert. Director John Price says he hopes it helped spark conversations about making plans before possible disasters hit. Preparedness is the key. Always have a plan. Work out with your family, your work colleagues. What will we do if we have an emergency? To sport now, and the Mavericks are one win away from a spot in basketball's NBA Finals. Dallas have wrapped up a 116-107 to home win that gives them a 3-0 series lead over the Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals. Star duo Luka Donacic and Kyrell Irving scored 33 points apiece for the Mavs. And the Hurricanes are waiting at wait and see approach ahead of Raymond Tupu Tupu fronting the Super Rugby Judiciary tonight. The hooker was shown a yellow card, controversially upgraded to red for a high tackle in their Friday night win over the Chiefs. Assistant coach Tylan Blyendahl is shying away from predicting a judicial outcome. I'm Wendy Petrie. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.